Hello, I'm Ember. Welcome back to the channel and I hope you're doing well. Today is the second part of our seven part series, spending time with each individual member of Inhypen to get to know them better. And this episode is focusing on this person right here, <laughs> the oldest member of Inhypen. Therefore, after the leader, he does come first. And I already know I've got a but ton of stuff listed in the request form for Heesung. Let me just type his name and see how many results we, we get. How many hits? 51. <laughs> 51 hits in this request form. And there's what? How many? Uh, how many total results are there? So over 50 results out of 611 requests and bear in mind this dates all the way back to August last year when I first started the request form. So in over a year of requests we've had just over 600 and a twelfth of them mention he sung. <laughs> That's insane. He definitely seems to be one of the most beloved members of Inhypen. Now, I do, I will say, people have been talking to me about that and saying that actually each member of Inhypen is very much loved and that the idea that certain members like Jungwon may not be kind of as loved is false information. Uh, and all of the members of Inhypen are equally loved. And I do see that, to be honest, especially when I go on X or Twitter or whatever. I do see kind of an equal amount of love kind of going for every single member. They recently had like a Prada event, I think. And I had no difficulty finding appreciation for every single person in Inhypen. So that was really nice to see for sure. He sung. I know people disagree with me, but from what I have experienced so far, uh, Sung appears to be one of the most beloved members. Not in like a favouritism, everyone else is neglected kind of way, because like I said, I can see that they're all loved, but people will not stop talking about Sung. <laughs> the amount of requests I have is quite insane. Now, obviously with this many requests, there's no way I'm going to get through all of it. So I am just going to try and pick a few different things and see where we go from there. I know a lot of people wanted me to react to Hisong on Lee Mujin services. I have no idea what that is, but we're going to check it out. Okay, so it is Hisong's birthday on the 15th of October. May I request some content about him? This is actually the request that gave me the idea to do a, a video on each member because I was like, yeah, that would be a great idea to do that for Hisong's birthday. And then I was thinking, but what about the other members? <laughs> I want to do it for all of them. We've got another cover here off my face. It's a lot of songs I've never heard of. Wow, he's done a lot of covers, no? Where was that one I just saw? We also want to see if we can find one vlog for Hisung because I did say it would be nice to look at one, like, one of those N-log things for each member. Now, I have already watched one for Jake, although technically that was for Layla. <laughs> uh, maybe we can find another Jake one for his uh, his video. We did also look at one for Jungwon, so it'd be nice if we can find one for Hisung as well. So many people saying they're Hisung biased. It's bonkers. Don't get me wrong, the most biased member that I see, like, in this request form is Jungwon biased, but that's because they're flocking to me <laughs> because they kind of knew that I was going to be Jungwon biased. But out of the other members that I don't bias, Hisung is definitely the most biased person in the request form. It was so great to see him get so much love. Everyone recommending the Lee Mujin service, so we are definitely going to have to check that out. When he is not feeling well and got hated on, this broke my heart. I'm not watching that. Ain't no way you could get me to watch that. <laughs> I ain't going to that link. <laughs> you cannot make me. I have been asked a few times now to react to Island. I'm not going to do it. I'm sorry. It would really upset me. You guys saw how affected I was by that one 30 second clip of Jay from Island. I would not be able to watch that show. It would be very upsetting for me. And I don't think you guys want to just watch me get upset. That doesn't sound like it would be fun for you guys either. So I'm not going to react to Island, I'm afraid. I'm not going to watch it at all. I have also been asked to react to Thirst edits and Thirst trap clips. I'm not going to do it. I'm 34 years of age. I feel like it would be very weird and uncomfy for you and for me and for everyone involved if I reacted to thirst clips of anyone in Anhypen, given their ages and my age. And I've also been asked to react to ships and shipping dynamics and things like that. And again, out of respect for people that don't like shipping, and also for people who may like shipping, but they don't 
ship the the same people if that makes sense like there there's so many like crossover ships like if you take 80s as an example because i'm not too familiar with unhypen ships so we'll use 80s as an example they have got four government assigned pairings <laughs> so that the eight people in the group can be nicely paired off into four pairs and you've got for example Mats, which is Songwa and Hongjun, and Yungi, which is Yuno and Mingi. But there are people out there that ship Songwa and Yuno. So if I were to do a ship reaction video, unless I were to react to every single ship, like literally pair every single person with every single person, there's no way to really please everyone. And some of the ships that I would react to would end up upsetting fans of other ships, right? If I reacted to Mats and Yungi, then the people that ship Songwa and Yuno would not be happy. So I would end up just upsetting people. And then, as I said, there's the people that disagree with shipping altogether. It's just a war that I would not win. <laughs> So uh, I'm not going to do that either, I'm afraid. Some people have said, okay, not shipping, but just like duo dynamics. And then they've linked to the exact same J1 clips as the people that wanted me to react to shipping. And it's like, well, where's the line? It's a very thin line between, you know, just calling it something else. It's just a minefield in terms of offending people. So I'm, I'm just steering clear of it. That doesn't mean that I wouldn't be happy to check them out in my own time. <laughs> Hamster he sung. Interesting. I'm not here to have um, a discussion or a debate about the morals of ship culture and if you should or should not ship, but I personally am a respectful shipper. <laughs> I censor names, I don't like get involved with official accounts or official people, but I do enjoy casual shipping. So there's no reason why I can't watch things in my own time, but it's just not something for the channel. People are saying that a week is too long to wait for a new and hypen video. There's nothing I can do about that. You guys have got 17 videos now on Enhypen. That's more than any other group, including my alt group, 80s, has nowhere near that many. They don't even have half that. And not only do you have more content, for and hypen on this channel than any other group I've reacted to. But you've also gotten them quicker too. So this weekend I reacted again to TXT. I like TXT a whole bunch, but it took me months to revisit them. The the mowers had to wait months. There's there's groups like Extinary Heroes that I've still not circled back to yet. People know that I love One Wee, but I've not looked at them in a little while and I've only listened to about five of their songs or something like that however many songs I've listened to. The people that think it's too long to wait a week for an Unhypen video, I feel very flattered. At the same time, there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> I'm not an Unhypen reaction channel. So this is your personal recommendation. It's a thread on Twitter. Oh, and a YouTube short. Well, we'll take those. Oh, a new request came in for Astro. Oh, I miss Astro. Hell yeah, I can look into them again. I still listen to Hide and Seek all the time. See, everyone keeps talking about, what is that, Artist of the Month, Nikki? I don't know what that is. <laughs> Nobody's linked it. They keep asking me to react to it, and I'm like, I don't know what it is. I'm just going to have to pop it into YouTube and see what comes up, because I, I haven't found a link for it yet. Someone asked as well if I, because the poll on X was between four boy groups, they asked if I just don't react to girl groups. I will. <laughs> I've reacted to Le Seraphim uh, twice, Blackpink, and a couple of others that, whose names I've forgotten. I've just not had very much luck with them. Blackpink, I really didn't vibe with their songs. It, they were like too hard hitting. But someone did say, I think somewhere in this request form or in a comment somewhere, they said that Blackpink do have softer songs and like more pop vibe songs that I would probably get on with better. So I did want to give Blackpink another try. And then really Twice was the only group that had a couple of songs that I liked. I really liked Heart Shaker, Fancy. Uh, yeah, I think those were the two that I really liked. And other than that, I've just not really vibed with any of the girl groups I found. So you are more than welcome to request girl groups. The majority of requests I get are for boy groups, so I, I do tend to go off the request form. Um, but the ones that have been submitted that I've tried, I've just not had much luck with. I, I think I'm just really picky. So feel free to request some. I myself very much like Sanu. Hell yeah! Woo! Oh, he's your bias wrecker from Jungwon. Okay, you are Jungwon biased. Damn it, I thought I'd found a Sanu biased person. His solo fans are very annoying. 
Sanu's solo fans. They talk about how Sanu gets disrespected. Honestly, I feel like every person says their bias gets underrated and discredited. <laughs> but I'm seeing it all the time. Yeah, all members kind of get that. Yeah, for sure. Jungwon is lowly appreciated for his vocals and dance. Jake, people talk that he has bad vocals, can't dance and doesn't have visuals. Poor Jake. I, I don't see like hardly anyone appreciate Jake at the moment. Where, where are my Jake biased people at? Make yourselves known in the comments. Tell me that you're Jake biased. He's sung discredited from his parts, overlooked for his talent, or they only see him for vocals. Yeah, see, I like his dancing. I think his dancing's great. And Nikki, they only see him for his dance ability. Although, again, I've had people disagree. That's the thing, right? It's all subjective. You may think someone is getting, like, less appreciation than what they deserve but that that is opinion so people say nikki's only seen for his dance he sings only seen for his vocals and then you'll get people in the comments saying that's not true and actually nikki's vocals get appreciated his he sings dancing gets appreciated you know you say he's only seen for his vocals and there'll be people saying that his vocals aren't appreciated enough it's all subjective that's just kind of how it is i feel like you can't please everyone ain't that the truth he sung being an absolute cutie pie in this clip Okie dokie. Hypen and JYP collab stage is a must watch. Really? <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of JYP. I'm not gonna lie. Since you also like Taehyun from TXT. Yeah, he's my bias. Kind of. My bias in TXT is always changing, but he uh, he's currently my bias. <laughs> uh, please react to this duet cover of them. Okie dokie. That's taken me like half an hour to just even go through the request form. You guys like long videos, right? <laughs> we can take all of these, honestly. That that seems like a good time. Oh, we finally reached the end. It only took like half an hour. We have got all of this for Heesung. It's quite a lot. Um, and we've got a vlog that we want to find as well. Let me write that down so I don't forget that. Someone said I'm similar to Jungwon, but they haven't said how. Interesting. All right, let's start with this because people are going to kill me if I don't watch it. <laughs> What is this? It's 23 minutes long. Maybe we won't do a vlog as well. Tamed dashed sofa camping everywhere. Secret garden? This is the Lee Mujin services thing that everyone wants me to watch. So we're, we're gonna watch it. Well, it's like a slower version. Damn, I'm out of water. Interesting to hear a slower version of this song. Another dude there. Hello. That's so nice. I'm 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 so nice. 그 중에 이제 첫 번째 정규 앨범의 타이틀 곡이기도 음. 하고 이제 많은 분들께서 되게 리드미컬하고 되게 좀 신나는 곡으로 알고 있는데 이번에는 뭔가 제가 좀 색다르게 예. 좀 타, 템포도 좀 낮추고 네. 좀 조금 컨셉츄얼하게 좀 노래를 바꿔서 음. 네 피아노 한 대로 좀 어쿠스틱하게 바꾼 거 굉장히 좀 괜찮은 선택이었던 것 같아요. 아, 해나이픈의 희승 씨 혼자만의 색깔은 이런 느낌이겠구나라는 걸좀 생각하면서 들을 수 있어서 굉장히 좋았던 것 같아요. 감사합니다. 네, 감사합니다. 무대 위에서 
뭐 여기도 엄밀히 따지면 무대지만 정말 큰 무대 위에서 노래를 많이 하셨는데 그죠. 좀 그때의 느낌과 이렇게 앉아서 좀 다소곳하게 노래를 부르는 느낌과 좀 어떤 차이가 있는 것 같아요? 아무래도 이런 장소는 이제 제 목소리에 집중이 되다 보니까 네. 어, 한편으로는 좀 긴장되긴 한데 되게 저는 지금 좀 즐거워요. 네, 다행이네요. 리무진 서비스 보신 적 있으세요? 어, 많이 봤죠. 제가 That makes one of us. 예스라핌의 최원 씨 나오셨을 때 이제 듀엣 곡으로 엔하이픈의 폴라로이드 러브라는 노래를 불렀었는데 혹시 그것도 보셨나요? 안 그래도 제가 이제 폴라로이드 러브를 같이 하고 싶었는데 아, 그래요? 조금 아. 아쉽긴 했어요. 아, 진짜 조금. 최원 씨가 너무 같은 회사잖아요, 또. <웃음> 너무 했네. 아, 때문에. 아 근데 되게 좋더라고요. 되게 약간 무진 선배님의 약간 어떤 흥나는 스타일로 뭔가 폴라로이드 러브 불러주시니까 약간 색달랐어요 많이. 음, 네, 좀 다행이네요. 좋았어요. 좋은 평가해 주셔서 감사합니다. 희승 씨의 서비스를 한번 시작해 볼까 하는데요. 네. 첫 번째 어떤 곡을 준비하셨나요? 어 일단 크러쉬 선배님의 네? 소파라는 곡을 준비했어요. 희승 씨가 부르는 크러쉬의 소파 듣고 오시겠습니다. Interesting. It's like a mixture of an interview where he gets to sing. Very cool. <laughs> Same. <laughs> 네, he made that look effortless. Oh, the mercy. 노래 감상하면서 굉장히 R&B 보컬리스트다라는 생각이 좀 많이 든게 일단 R&B 보컬 하면은 빼놓을 수 없는 스킬 리에 대한 뭐 so far away 뭐막 되게 자유자재로 그 크러쉬 선배님이 만드신 리들이 다 굉장히 고난이도인데. 네. 쉽게 쉽게 구사하시는 거 보고 아 R&B를 꽤 오랫동안 파셨구나 이런 느낌이 들었고 발성법이 저랑 좀 유사한 점이 많아서 듣는데 재밌었어요. 그러니까 저도 뭔가 그러니까 비강으로 뭉친 다음에 앞으로 딱 이렇게 뻗게 하는 그 소리 제가 주로 좀아 이게 재밌다 편하다 해서 쓰는 소리랑 굉장히 흡사한 발성법을 구사하셔서 이 또한 듣는 재미가 있었습니다. 아 감사합니다. 네. 어이 노래가 
되게 전형적인 한국식 R&B 스타일의 곡인데 원래 이런 장르를 좀 좋아하세요? 제가 이제 정말 진지하게 가수를 조금 방향을 바꿔보자고 라 생각했을 시기에 R&B가 되게 유행을 했었어요 대한민국에서 아하. 막 크러쉬 선배님이나 디인 선배님들 이렇게 되게 저도 따라 듣고 부르면서 이제 자연스럽게 제 몸에 뭔가 그런 바이브가 좀 고착화된 약간 들어온 것 같아요 그래서 그때부터 되게 어. R&B를 더 진심으로 좋아하게 되고 그때부터는 이제 외국 계시는 R&B 가수분들도 많이 듣고 이러면서 어. 조금 더 많이 좋아하게 된것 같습니다 음. 불러주시는 거 한번 들어보고 싶네요 Gotta change my answering machine Now I'm yeah. alone Cause our knowledge says that we Can't come to the phone And I know it's make no sense Cause you walk out the door But it's the only way I hear a boys anymore His whole voice shifted. It sounded like a different person. Bonkers. Although they say that about when you change language, right? Your voice sounds different. Me. That was so fast. Me. 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 B 맞아요가 좀 멋있었다. 어 뭐야 했는데 B 맞아요. 흑건을 치고 있었어도 제 음이 정확하니까. 아오 멋있다. 어 그러면 막 노트 여러 개한 번에 쳐도 맞출 수 있나요? 세 개까지는 좀 걸리고 네. 두 개는 그래도 거의 바로 맞으세요. 솔라네요. 맞아? 아 대박죠. 뭐아 근데 이게 네, 그렇습니다. <웃음> 와 절대음감 진짜 부럽다. 아, It's weird. 도움이 돼요 절대음감이면은 음악하는데 뭐 음정 잡을 때나 이럴 때 그리고 이제 직접 들었을 때제 음정이 벗어난 걸 확실히 알수 있어요. 네 있으니까. 본인 피치를 아니까. 그래서 아. 그런 것들 조금 유용한 거지 이게 절대 노래를 더 잘하는 요인이다라고는 아 그건 그렇죠. 느끼지 않아요. 그렇죠. 그렇죠. 부럽네요. 그런 절대음감 희승 씨가 정작 예고를 가려고 이제 준비했을 때. 실기에서 그 실력 발휘를 다 못했다 이렇게 들었어요 이유가 뭡니까? 지금 생각해도 제가 너무 내성적이고 약간 누구한테 뭘 보여주는 걸 되게 힘들어 했었던 것 같아요 지금은 되게 즐겁고 재밌는데 그래서 그렇지 않았을까요? 음, 그때 어떤 노래 하셨는데요? 그때 소, 오혁 선배님이 커버하신 소녀라는 곡을 아, 썼어요 소녀 오혁 버전? 네. 그럼 불러주세요 알겠습니다 푸른 차가운 바람 속에 그대 외로워 울지만 나 항상 그대 곁에 I want to hear him sing an English song okay, again to see if his vocal tone changes again. Ah, 아, 그럼요. 이제 만반의 준비를 하고 왔어요 제가. 한림 예고의 어떤 그 어떤 뭐랄까 가슴 아픈 기어 비수 이런 걸좀 원망, 네, 원망, 분노, 분노, 수치심 실제로 있었구나. <웃음> 그걸 좀다 씻어내신 것 같나요? 그렇죠. 지금 여기서 드디어 여기서 씻겨 내려가요. 다행이네요. 이제. 편안하게 다시 또 네. 가수 생활 할수 있을 것 같습니다. <웃음> 아 불편한 가수 생활까지도 영향을 아니요, 줬던 거예요? 마음에 한이 있었어요. 한까지 있었어. <웃음> <웃음> 대박이다, 진짜. <웃음> 그러면 또 실력 발휘를 한번 해볼 시간인데요. 다음 라이브 어떤 곡을 준비해 오셨나요? 어 이번 곡은 이제 조지 선배님의 캠핑 에브리웨어. 오 캠핑 에브리웨어. 오 맞아요. 바로 듣고 오시죠. That guy can sing too. No, who is that man? Who, who is this person I've never heard of in his series?
Okay, singing along. It's a nice song to show that he can do the low vocals and the high vocals, right? Uh, has good versatility in his vocals. I think he's already known his own clothes. I think it's like that. 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 That's right. It's very good. You chose the song of Joji's song. Is there any reason for that? I'm a famous artist. 제가 셀리스트 그 미리 보내드릴 때도 엄청 많이 골랐었어요 조지 네. 씨 노래를 알고 계세요? 계세요? 네 소문으로 들었습니다. 네 그래서 그냥 무조건 이걸 한 곡은 하고 싶다는 생각에 제가 이렇게 고르게 됐고 약간 이분의 그 어떤 자연스러움이 좀 되게 좋은 것 같아요. 이걸 노래를 부를 때 MSG가 첨가되지 않은 자연의 목소리인데 그게 좋으면 좋은 거잖아요. 네. 그런 부분이 너무 닮고 싶기도 하고. 여러 가지에서 너무 좋아하는 분이라서 고르게 됐습니다. Yeah, he thinks a lot about this stuff, no? 음. 작사 작곡을 다 하시는 거예요? 작곡은 사, 사실 좀 어렵더라고요. 이게 음도 하나 하나 다 골라야 되고 음. 시간이 너무 오래 걸리는 작업이다 보니까 제 성격상 그건 잘안 맞는 것 같고 작사랑 탑 노트 위주로 음. 많이 써요. 그러니까 프로듀서님들 비트 그냥 있는 거 있으시면 그냥 막 갖다서 써보기도 음. 하고 그래서 쓰고 있습니다. 그럼 뭐 완성된 곡이 있나요? 완성된 곡은 한곡 있어요. 그래요? 네. 그게 다 쓰는데 <웃음> 2년 걸렸어요. 2년. 2년 동안 한 곡을 썼어요? 네. 그 진짜 근데 이게 좀제 생각엔 이건 저의 문제인 것 같아요. 약간 아니 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 아니요. 근데 아니요. 네. 약간 조금 있네요. <웃음> 약간 노래 잠깐 뭐라 해야 되지? 만들다 잠깐 넣어놨다가 잊고 있다 다시 꺼내서 작업하는 거 되게 재밌지 않아요? 맞아요, 맞아요. 제가 그런 식으로 한 3개월 주기로 계속 반복을 막 하다가 아우 질려 이러고 버리고 하다가 갖고 와가지고 어 생각 나는데 아까 또 썼다가 약간 좀 제가 그 얘기를 했었나요? 그 SNS에서 이제 저희 리무진 서비스 출연자 추천을 좀 받았는데 출연 요청이 제일 많이 온 사람이 희승 씨였거든요. 특히나 또 해외 팬분들이 다 희승 씨좀 제발 불러달라고 이런 요청이 많았는데. 이제 저도 예전에 채원 씨랑 불렀던 폴라로이드 러브의 어떤 챌린지, 댄스 챌린지가 전 세계적으로 유행이었다고 들었어요. 
그 챌린지를 다른 멤버분들은 다 하셨던데 희승 씨는 하셨나요? 아니요 안 하셨다고요? 뭔가 할것 같은 분위기 그죠? 네. 아 근데 오늘 부탁을 너무 많이 드렸으니까 아 아니, 아닙니다 좀 같이 해볼까요? 같이 네. 저를 좀 알려주실 수 있어요? 또또 또 이제 저춤 진짜 못 춰서 좀그 뚝딱거리는 어, 재미가 있거든요 기대되는데요? It's like a whole lot of love 사랑 촌스러운 그 감정 <웃음> 약간 저의 형 같아요 <웃음> 아 형은 약간 이쪽에 서질이 없어요 아 약간 저희 형도 약간 네. 춤출 때 머쓱해지는 스타일 아 그래요? 난 지금 되게 용감했던 건데 <웃음> 가봅시다 오케이 음악 큐! It's like a ball of right love 사랑 촌스러운 그 감정 그때 내 가슴이 뛰어 나 나나 왜 사랑해 오 <웃음> 힐. 마지막 음용 좋았습니다 네, 감사합니다 이 분위기 이어서 다음 곡 한번 듀엣으로 가볼까 하는데요 네. 어떤 곡을 준비했나요? 이상은 선배님의 비밀의 화원이라는 곡을 준비했습니다 이 노래를 어떻게 하다가 알게 되었어요? 옛날에 어렸을 적에 시골 갈 때나 네. 뭐 그럴 때 저희 어머니나 아버지가 많이 들으시는 걸 듣기도 하고 음. 해가지고 알고 있었습니다 어렸을 때 들었을 때는 그렇게 어, 되게 잔잔한 것보다 신나는 걸 좋아해서 약간 원래는 좀 많이 못안 듣다가 취향에 따라서 요즘 들어서 좀더 많이 듣게 되는 것 같아요 음흠. 뭔가 알. 이 삶의 이치를 알고 <웃음> 삶의 이치 더 이해하, 이해하게 되다 보니까 많이 yeah. 듣게 되는 것 같아요 삶의 이치 yeah. He's a really interesting way of thinking about things, no? Who is this guy? <laughs> We need to look into this after that. What the fuck? Maybe he's an idol or something.
so I have to find this song. Yeah. If I can't get Whoa. it on Spotify or something, I am clipping that Don't whole segment that. and muting myself out of it so that I can have that song. That was gorgeous. That was it. Oh, who who is this Matt? This isn't just some interviewer dude, is it? Who are you, sir? He is a singer. Who are you? Are you in a group or are you just you have a K profiles thing? You don't. Interesting. Rose to fame after appearing on the music audition show Sing Again. In 2020, he finished in third place. He had a single in 2021 called Traffic Light. And since 2022, he's been the main host on the KBS music web show Lee Mooch and Service. He does have quite an extensive musical history over the last few years. Interesting. I thought it was just some interviewer dude. Nope. <laughs> Dude can sing, no? That was a really nice video. It was really great to watch. There's something about the way he sung talks in this and just the, the kind of thought that he's given to the questions and the reasoning that he provides for, for certain things and how he approaches things that I just really like. It's not that he comes across introverted, although he kind of does, but he just comes across very thoughtful as if he's like, you know, he he doesn't want to just provide shallow answers to questions, you know, he like gives everything a lot of thought and he's kind of planned what he wants to say beyond like a, a basic response. So I just really like the way he responded to the questions. This was my favourite though, this duet. You know I love duets. That was gorgeous. I don't want the original, I want their version. Nope. It's it's not a thing, so I'm going to have to make it a thing. <laughs> I'm going to have to clip that. Thankfully there's no background noise, so I can just clip that and have my own little version of it. Oh man, that was so nice. It was nice to hear a slow version of Tainted Dashed too. Okay, I went to get water because we have to stay hydrated. That was really nice to watch. Now we're going to go into another highly requested cover, which is This Is What Falling In Love Feels Like. It was released three months ago, it's new. So this is slow, I know it is, I know it's so super cliche, but you make me he sounds different when he sings in English. This falling, falling in love. Super cute. I got a lot of my mind, got some on my plate. My baby got me looking forward to the end of the day. What you say? You will make just forget about the past Throw it in the trash, what you say? You and me Let the lie we never had Like we're never going back Feel like sun On my skin So this is love I know it is I know it's not super cliche But you make me feel some type of way This is for He's so stylish. <laughs> Born to be a performer.
Super nice. He made that like so entertaining to watch. take the flowers actually don't he's charming but he's still a vampire don't fall for it guys what did people say his habit was remember that tiktok i watched and it had every member's habit what was his habit i was meant to be looking out for it in this video and i've forgotten what it is was it licking his lips or was it biting his lips no that was jake right biting his lip no, oh, I don't remember. I'll never find the TikTok now too, because it was in 20 million Jungwon TikToks. That was really nice. Definitely not my style of song. A few of these, I think I do not have the same taste in music as he sung. A few of these are not my style of song, uh, but that was still very nice. All right, let's take a break from the covers for a bit because we've only got a few more here. We're going to space them out. We're going to go on to some TikToks now and get a little bit of his vibe. We have a TikTok here called Fake Macne. So I'm guessing that means that he acts like the kid of the group a lot. Now, bear in mind, when, when I was editing... Wait! <laughs> when I was editing the Jungwon video, the reason it took me so damn long, <laughs> it took me like three days to edit it, not because it was so long, but because I was having to like zoom all of the TikTok clips so that I felt like you guys could see them. And it just took forever, so I ended up giving up. So we're just going to have to go with it. And if any look particularly tiny, I'll try to zoom them in for you guys. <laughs> I'm from France. Why is he up there? Somebody help him. <laughs> See, everyone is telling me that Sung Hoon is the loudest person in the group and he's like the, the extroverted introvert or the loudest introvert or something like that. And I've not really seen too much of Sung Hoon yet to confirm or deny that. But so far, the loudest person in the group for me is He Sung. <laughs> he seems so chaotic and he just screams at everything. I wish I could find that TikTok again. I wonder if I saved it where he's screaming about the bug. Look at me saving all of these unhyphen TikToks. <laughs> I don't think I saved it, damn it. I was, it was probably like right as I was getting into unhyphen, so I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't at the point yet where I was saving TikToks of them. This might be it. I might have found it. No. That's the bug. Holy oh, shit. Yeah, this this is what I watched. <laughs> he fell on his head. <laughs> Jonathan is so great. A <laughs> preview for the next guest. Man, it's amazing you guys didn't hear it come in, honestly. That thing was huge. If I was Jungwon, I would be traumatized, no? That thing falls on my head. No. <laughs> Oh my 
<laughs> he he wants to protect them, but at the same time he's like, fuck that. I feel bad for the manager actually, because he has to try and catch the bug and he was probably also like, fuck no. Especially when you've got someone from Australia who is also like, fuck no. That's when you know it's a big bug. <laughs> yeah, I just noticed he sung is uh he screams a lot. <laughs> no? Chaotic he sung. Let's see if this proves my theory. Love is That's my theory. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> Let me kiss you. Oh, hey, uh, that's funny. That definitely proves my my point about him screaming a lot. No, and you're telling me Sung Hoon is the loud one. So you're saying Sung Hoon is louder than this. Okay, this just says. Wait, I wasn't ready. This just says must see rap. And he sung told me that he will stop rapping for a while. Oh, it's a surprise. Have I heard him rap? Maybe in the guide. <laughs> it sounds a little bit different when he's rapping too, no? He has such a versatile voice. You can definitely see why he's called the ace and the all-rounder, for sure. This one just says he sung. <laughs> I got no indication. He sung core. It's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> what did he just throw into the audience? <laughs> He looks so tired. He looks so done. Someone, um, tell me what this clip is from. Where is it? This clip. Is this from an N O'Clock episode? Is this from the 1D2N thing? Or what is this from? Somebody save him. I wonder if he's scared of heights. Depends how high up they are, right? Because if it's not too high up, then maybe he's scared of heights. But if it's ridiculously high up, then it's understandable, regardless of if you have a fear of heights or not. I also noticed a couple of these clips were repeated from the last one, and in both of them, it's got him falling off of the chair. And I remember hearing in the guide, the first guide, I think, that he's like super clumsy, right? Uh, and he falls off of things a lot, and we've seen it a couple of times. <laughs> he's sung being clumsy. Yeah, there's a video for he sung being clumsy. Yeah, this clip. <laughs> Just misses the chair. Oh, <laughs> 
Did he just drop a whole ass cake? He's lost his tail. Oh my gosh. Whose laugh is that? <laughs> my gosh. He is dangerous. I feel like this is not the first time I've said this about He Sung, right? This one also just says He Sung. Very cryptic. And it's unavailable. <laughs> I'm sorry, but whatever that person recommended, it's not available anymore. Ember, please watch this. It's Hamster He Sung. <laughs> okay. Your hands up, crew. Put your hands up. So sleepy in that clip. I can kind of see it for sure in in some of those clips. I definitely see the deer thing. Um, he definitely kind of has deer vibes, not just in how he looks, but also the way that he dances sometimes. He's very nimble. So I've always gotten the deer vibe, but I, I didn't know about the hamster. Uh, but that I can definitely see it in that. This is just a link to X. Let's take a moment to appreciate how musically genius he sung is. This guy has perfect pitch. I'm not talking about relative pitch, but absolute pitch. Do you guys realize how mind blowing that is? Sure, some people develop relative pitch throughout training and in time in the industry, but what He Sung's got is exceptionally rare and innate. It also means he can play instruments by ear and replicate tones and pitches spot on. Absolutely insane. It is rare, right? I think in all of the K-pop groups I've looked into, we've only seen one other person who has absolute perfect pitch and i don't remember who it was <laughs> sorry someone remind me someone will know but it is incredibly rare the amount of groups and artists that i've looked into and i've only seen one other person that can do what he sung does full screen it for you guys you can play it without the sheet music Fucking insane. That's kind of insane, I'm not gonna lie. And you can tell that's not from memory too, because of the way that he talks about it. When, like, firstly, if it was from memory, they wouldn't give him the sheet music to begin with. They'd be like, hey, you've played this 30 million times, play it again. When he does the second one, he actually says, shall I try something else? 
not like shall I play something else like something that I've learned off by heart because when you do practice songs you do play them to the point where you could play them off by heart but he says shall I try something else as if he's never played that song before and they show him the sheet music and he glances at it a couple of times and then he's just good and then halfway through he was like isn't this right like you can tell he's listening to the song in his head and he's equating those notes to what they should be on the, the xylophone and playing it like in real time. And then with the first one, he was like adding in extra segments to absolutely bonkers that he can do that. It's perfect pitch is such a fascinating thing to me. Like the way that his brain just works differently to be able to do that. humble too. So cute. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> They're so cute. Apparently, even duets on the piano I really love. What did I just do? There we go. What is this? Wait, 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 wait. what is that? Playing a carol with handbells. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jingle bell, jingle bell. Where are you going? Jingle bell, jingle bell. Da, 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 da. 아 맞다 이거 이게 그거예요. 도레 이거 그그 그 순서에다 빠지는 것좀 하나 뭐 맞아. 그 순으로 도레미파솔라 하시는 거예요. 응. 이렇게 하면 되겠네. 명승이 형이 다 해주면 되지 않나? <웃음> who was like i told you so <laughs> i told you would just get him to do it although it did say in the instructions all members have to play <laughs> so i think they were predicting that that could happen i'm so fascinated by perfect pitch <laughs> <laughs> they changed Beethoven to Heethoven. Amazing. With perfect pitch, he, he should be able to play within like a certain... Oh, it's quite a long compilation. Within a certain reason he should be able to play just about anything no once he learns like what notes or what keys absolutely wild i mean within certain reason because obviously there are some incredibly complex pieces but within certain reason he should be able to play just about anything no with perfect pitch he can listen to it and he can hear the notes and he knows the piano well enough to know where the notes are on the keys and he can replicate it so as long as it's not incredibly complex or like you know really quick or anything like that in terms of like nursery rhymes basic songs things like that you can just replicate the notes on the piano okay there we go i just had to get rid of notifications that were like on every site because the the tabs were stressing me out and i could see the numbers up there since you also like taehyun from txt please react to this duet cover of them let's do that
Taehyun is not just my bias in TXT, but also my vocal bias. I love his voice. Such a nice look for his song, though. <laughs> Cut it off so quick, is there not a full version of that? Wait, hold. Yeah. I wonder why it cuts off so quickly. Yeah, there's like nothing after that. Okay. It was so nice though. Really nice. I love duets. This one says poor baby, and I don't know if it's gonna be cute or sad. If it looks sad, I'm closing it. It's cute. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> Cutie pie. Oh, there's one called He Sung's Habits. Hell yeah, let's check this out. What was his habit? Will I remember? <laughs> happening in that last clip none of those ring a bell so i don't think that's what the other habit video had as, as his habit i think it might have been licking his lips and then jake was biting his lips oh there is another tiktok here for clumsy he sung let's check this out i think clumsy he sung is my favorite variety of he sung <laughs> what he did really drop a whole cake. What did he just do to the crowd? He really is a danger to himself and to others. <laughs> what was this one? What did he do? Oh, he threw something into the crowd accidentally. I don't know what it was. How is this person? the second best person in the ice skating video that we watched after Sung Hoon. This man has no balance <laughs> whatsoever. And he's the deer of the group. He's got no balance whatsoever. You just kind of give him a tiny nudge and he just falls over. Bless him. Lacking in spatial awareness too, I feel like. Makes such a mess. A laughing compilation. J-creation. J-creation. あ、ちょっと。あ、ちょっと。あ、ちょっと。あ、ちょっと。あ、ちょっと。あ、ちょっと。あ、ちょっと。あ、ちょっと。あ、ちょっと。あ、ちょっと。あ、ちょっと。あ
실은 구멍이었다 이렇게 얘기하고 혼자 나가버릴 때가 있어. 제일 좋아해. 새끼. 아, 저, 한만 대면 나와가지고. 성공하자. 진짜 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 <laughs> oh, what a cutie pie. <laughs> He's the cutest laugh. He's just a giggly baby. <laughs> He's sung speaking English. Oh, my face hurts. Oh, my gosh. I would not have been able to do that as a try not to smile challenge because that was so adorable. He sung speaking English. Why is it so quiet? Practice a lot. Yeah. Wait. Your English skill is in improved. Thank you so much. I practice a lot. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> hey, calm down. Calm down. Um, I also like Chipotle. Being excited this situation, and I'm so excited right now. Oh. I have to think about it when I when I speak English. I'm an Englishman in New York. He's really handsome. <laughs> handsome boy. British accent. That walk is so gorgeous. <laughs> I don't know how to speak English in British British accent. What? 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 Hello. Can I get a Spider Man 1? How much is it? $10. Are you sick? Yeah, I'm sick. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately apologizes. <laughs> Bless him. So, so good. I miss you so much. <laughs> I'm dope. I'm so sick. If they become a watermelon seller, his shop would have been the most popular. Oh, exactly. It looks so pretty, so I can cannot touch it. Anyways, thank you all. And which color is your favorite color? My favorite color is purple. purple. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm feeling it. It's a bit hot. <laughs> I'm a man. <sighs> I love you guys. It's a hedgehog. It's not a hedgehog. It's a hamster. Hamster. And it's also Bambi. Deer. A deer. Oh, hamster and deer on his cake. Super cute. I was just sitting there thinking, why would they think it's a hedgehog? But maybe it just looked like a hedgehog, but I don't know. <laughs> right, let's try another cover and then maybe we could find a vlog. Have I listened to Off My Face cover yet? I do not remember. I do not think so. Volume's a little bit temperamental at this point. He's wearing the earring that his character does in the webtoon thing. One touch and you got me stoned Higher than I've ever known You call the shots and I'll follow he sings differently when he sings in English. I like it. 
such a versatile singer. So pretty. That was so pretty. That was so pretty. That was so nice. I don't even like that original song, but I love his cover of it. And I wish, I, I know why they can't, but I wish covers were on Spotify. Because I would listen to this all the time. Can I just like... <laughs> One more time. So it is really nice. It's so pretty. He looks stunning in this too, no? So elegant. One touch and you got me stoned. Higher than I've ever known. You call the shots and I'll follow. Sunrise, but the nights tell you No words, but we speak in tongues If you let me out, I'm say to my eyes Your touch blur my vision It's your world and I'm just in it Even sober, I'm not thinking straight Cause I'm off my face In love with you I'm my, my hair So Touch blur my vision, sure all and I'm just in it even so far I'm not thinking straight Cause I'm on my face and love with you I'm my, my hair so
so nice. I love it so much. I love it so much. I'm just gonna... Save that. <laughs> so that I never lose it. <laughs> That's so nice. What the fuck? His song's vocals aren't a joke. His vocals are so soft and healing. Yeah, there's something so nice about it. Oh man, I love that. That's my favorite thing I've watched for him so far. I, I absolutely adore it. Okay, let's... Oh man, there, there was... Uh, let's do another one. This is Love Wins All by IU. It's not too long, so it might not be the full song. So nice, man. What the fuck? I love that outfit for him too, you know? They put him on like the half skirt again. I really like it when they do that. It suits him a lot. And that hairstyle suited him a lot too. Yeah, we've got some stuff to do with his ad-lib vocals. Siren voice in Fate. Was he the one doing the stuff in the background in Fate? Because when I listened to Fate, I pointed that out. Nope. Oh my god, that's so loud. Holy shit, I forgot I turned it up for the other TikTok. I mentioned in Fate, no? The background stuff? This is from a different part, so maybe not. such a good song by the way this music for fate i love it not notice that the first time I heard this song. 
so nice. He does kind of sound like a siren, no? Super nice. I love it when you get like background vocals that sound like a siren or a mermaid or something. It's so cool. Background vocals, fatal trouble. Pardon moi? Excuse moi? Turn it up a smidge. Editing me is going to hate all this volume change. so it's a lot harder to tell with that one i feel like i could hear it like around here uh, all of this this sounds different i don't think i've like heard that when listening to the the normal version for fatal trouble now this one just says bite me but it doesn't say whether or not it's like background vocals or just something to do with bite me this is raw vocals it's you me in this world you're the so guess i like me Interesting. So interesting. I do find it interesting to watch like when they record stuff for albums. I did it a lot with 80s and Stray Kids. You see them kind of recording for their albums and the, the kind of thought that they put into how they want a certain line to be delivered. You don't really think too much about it. You just think like, wow, that line sounds really good. But then when you see like this kind of clip, and it shows how many times they recorded the same line, trying just different fluctuations, different vibes, and they're just not happy with it. And they're like, no, this isn't what I'm going for. Like so much effort goes into every line in a song. It's kind of bonkers. This one says background blind. Oh, 
Yeah, he just does his own thing in the background, no? It's kind of wild. It just kind of adds like a whole nother layer to the music. Some of the prettiest background vocals that you can get are really high register vocals like that and it is sometimes equated to like siren singing and he sung is amazing at the high vocal so it it does kind of make sense that he can do stuff like that but it's really cool it just adds like a whole other layer to all of their songs this is circles by post malone it's a, another cover very awesome this is the most potato quality i've ever seen we do any better? Nope. Something I really like about when he's singing in English, I really, really like it. And that quality was so bad that he sung looked like a Minecraft character, but the quality of his voice, pristine. All right, we should be wrapping it up here soon. These videos were meant to be 45 minutes long, not two hours. So we really need to be wrapping it up. Solo dance? Is this him dancing? Yes. Let's watch it. Yeah. Hell yeah. Bro be flexible, no? He just be doing flips and everything. Good damn. Very cool. I like he sings dancing a whole bunch. I really do. Him being like the center for a lot of the chorus part in Brought the Heat Back, like the performance video and everything is like the best thing ever for me. All right, we've got a couple more covers that we can watch and then we should be wrapping it up really. This is Spring Day by BTS. <laughs> he has such a sweet smile. His son comes across as very humble.
then the shy smile afterwards. He definitely comes across as very humble. Bless him. He sang live cover, Baby Don't Cry by EXO. Pink hair he sung is great. Who is completely vibing over on the left there? Is it pink hair or is it orange hair again? Makes it look so easy. Absolutely bonkers. <laughs> oh, so cute. Bless him. We... I love that we had Sanu sitting right here singing along. There's a certain part where you see Sanu singing along to the song. Whoever these two are, Nikki, Sanu, Sunghoon, Jay. So is this Jake and Jungwon that were just vibing like this while he was singing? <laughs> Very nice. He makes it look so easy, honestly. And EXO have got some powerhouse voices in their group too. So a lot of their songs, are, I feel like, must be very difficult to sing. But he made it look easy. Right, we're basically there. Shall I see if I can finish up with a vlog? Let's see if there's a he sung vlog that isn't too long. Enlog, they're called, right? We've got He Sung Day. Play, eat, oh, eat, play, and sing together a day with my brother. Let's go with this one because it's newer. It's only a year old. 18 minutes long, and then that, that will definitely have to be it. Something else? Yeah. That will definitely have to be it. These videos are way too long. I'm so sorry. Blonde He Sung. 오랜만에 브이로그를 찍게 됐습니다. 아마 농구 브이로그가 제일 마지막이었던 것 같은데 저희 형이랑 같이 뭔가 얘기하고 이런 걸 되게 좋아하고 재밌어 하시더라고요. 공개하려고 하지 않았지만 이미 저희 형이 고려대학교를 재학 중이라는 그 이야기가 다 소문이 퍼져 버려가지고 이참에 그냥 이걸로 브이로그 한번 찍어보면 어떨까. 뭐 계획은 없지만 그래도 한번. 오늘 가서 형이랑 한번 오늘 놀아볼까 합니다. 좀 약간 좀 대학생 느낌을 저희가 내보고 싶었어요. 그리고 오늘 드레스 코드는 살짝 이렇게 고려대학교 이런 느낌. 약간 일단 가자마자 밥을 먹으면 좋을 것 같아요. 저희 형한테 물어봤는데 잔디에서 밥을 먹는다는 거예요. 그래서 저는 전혀 믿기지가 않으니까 그 그러니까 잔디가 어디 있는지는 알거든요. 고려대학교에서. 근데 거기 앉아서 평소에도 밥을 먹는데요. 그래서 오늘 짜장면을 먹어볼까. 네. 지금 배가 너무 고파요 지금. <웃음> 저희 형이랑 사실 만나면 뭐 형님 형 대학교 학교 생활 얘기 그리고 제저 활동하고 뭐 스케줄 얘기하고 그 다음은 PC 방이에요 무조건 무조건 PC 방을 가서 게임을 하는 걸로 마무리가 되기 때문에 nice. 굉장히 저희의 일상적인 모습이라는 점. 그래서 PC 방을 갈까 지금 고민 중입니다. 고대에서 뵙도록 하겠습니다. 안녕. Really? 머리였어. <웃음> 네, 도착했습니다. 안녕하십니까. 안녕하세요. 두 번째 촬영하는 거라서 네, 엔진 분들한테 다시 읽으실 텐데 저희 형입니다. It's nice they actually spend time together like that. Me and my brother would just play games online. We would never meet up. <laughs> oh, bless him. Oh, bless him. I feel like my brother is a very happy part of the world. But it's a part of the world. My brother is always 
그런 장소라고 볼수 있어요. looks amazing. 네. 나 오늘 고르데라고. 어, 그러네. 아주 색깔이 제대로 나. 그렇지. 빨간색 아니고 크림 쓴 색이야. 네, 밥을 먹어야 돼. 어디로 가는 거야, 우리 집? 밥? 아, 그냥 원래 그냥 봐봐. 여기 사람 앉아 있잖아. 아, 여기서 그냥 짜장면 먹고 맥주 먹고 막걸리 마시고. 아, 그래? 그러면 뭐 맥주 한잔 할까? 짜장면 먹으면 싸지. 오늘 근데 뭐 했어? 그거? 오늘 계속 공부하다 봤지. 무슨 공부? 응? 무슨 공부? 그냥 공부하는 거 공부. <웃음> 아니 디테일하게. 싫어요. 아 왜요? 좋아요. <웃음> 아, 조명이. 아, 막걸리. 이제 곧 고려대학교 하면은 막걸리예요. 저희 그 아빠 아빠랑 이제 옛날에 고현전 엄청 많이 보러 갔었는데 거기서도 막걸리에 대한 응원가가 있어요. 그래서 막걸리 참가. 막걸리 창가 좀, 좀 불러줘 한 번만 불러줘 왜? 나 불러야 돼? 나 불러 <웃음> 마셔도 고대답게 막걸리를 마셔라 막 이런 게 있어요 좀 부끄럽네 <웃음> <웃음> 고대하면 막걸리래요 그래서 막걸리를 사왔습니다 그래서 막, 막사를 막 한번 마셔보여 그리고 소개를 해 해외 팬분들한테 아. 너가 좋아하는 This alcohol 어. is traditional Korean traditional alcohol with soda. 는 네. 오, 너무 시원하다. 시원. 여기서 저것 때문에 쇼케이스나 아. 저기 체육관에서 화장 체육관. 그래서 가고 싶었는데 뭐 있어가지고 시험 기간이었나? 아, 이건 있습니다. 저희 집안이 고려대 가족 고려대 집안입니다. 고려대 집안이가? 고려대 집안이지. 아빠랑 아빠도 오빠랑 나밖에 없잖아. 아빠가 행정학과 학원인가? 음. 그걸 촬영하는 거 듣고 그래서 행정실에 아시는 분들 있다고 도와줄 거 있으면 <웃음> <웃음> 연락하라. 어. <웃음> 근데 여기서 기타 치는 건 진짜 낭만이지. 음. 할수 있어. 한두 씩 있어. He wanted to join. Oh. <laughs> Romantic. Oh, my eyes are so red. I could not handle spicy food, it'd probably take me out. The area is so pretty, it makes my university look crap. <laughs> so gorgeous. No offense to my university. <laughs>
재밌었다고 되게... 다행인데 그때 되게 내가 좀 슬펐잖아 응. 슬픈 희생이었잖아 어. 근데 거기서 좀잘 존재해줬어 아, 그렇구나 그날 We don't like sad his song No thank you 팀으로 서로 이렇게 얼굴 맞춰보면서 No sadness allowed 제가 이미 만취한 상태에서 희생이한테 그날 전화가 온 거예요 아 그런 거였구나 <웃음> 도와라 마셔라 이렇게 신난 상태에서 전화 오니까 저도 그, 그 텐션에 지금 오버한 거지 저도 평소에 막 이렇게 노래 부르고 다니고 뭐 경박스러운 사람이 아닙니다 좋은 기회를 통해서 알아주셨으면 좋겠습니다 그렇답니다 <웃음> 아, 근데 너무 맛있는데? 어, He just happy with his food. 제 아버지 닮아서 원래 술좀 마시면 바로 빨개져가지고 취한 건 아니에요, 진짜. 뭔가 치고는 좀 비틀비틀 거리는 거. 아, 아니, 아니. 지금 어디로 갈지 몰라, 몰랐어 순간. 아, 원래 농구를 하고 싶었으니까 이게 코트만이라도 보여드리려고 한번 가보겠습니다. 아, 공한 번이라도 좀공 그냥 가져올 거예요. 그렇지. 아, 너라도 던졌어 되긴 하는데. 여기입니다. 여기 전화 한번 왔었는데. 근데 코트 되게 이뻐요. 동기들이랑 했죠? 잘 하나 뜨고 있어요. 저번에 저희도 한번 매치를 했던 적이 있었죠. 그렇죠. 그래가지고 또 열심히 해서 재밌었죠 그때. 와, 잘하지. 폼이 보통 폼이 아니야. 어, 페이더에? 와, 전화이지. 아, 역시 농구는 구경도 재밌습니다. 어 저기도 어딘진 모르겠지만 되게 예뻐 보여요. 좀 이뻐요. 그게 민주 광장이라고 하는 곳이고 여기도 광장이구만. 이런 배경. 미리. It's such a nice area. Good damn. 네, 저 제가 형이랑 자주 오는 PC 방이에요. 네, 보고 있어요. 어, 뭐야, 왜 이렇게 세냐? 근데 오히려 좋은데? 엄청 센데? I wonder what they're playing. 어? <웃음> 어, 뭐야, 어, I wonder, no. 마우스가 익숙하진 않아. 빠이빠. 빠이빠. 여전히 못한다, 여전히. 빨리 왔어야지, 그러니까. 그 피로 뭐, 왜, 왜 아는 거야? 잠깐만 기다려봐. 전이 못한다, 전이. 아, 근데 뭐지? 왜 지는 거지? 요즘 춤, 노래 연습 열심히 하나 봐. 아, 근데 이거 잘하는 것도 좀 이상해. 아이고야, 지게 생겼네. 아, League of Legends. 집가자, 집가자, 형 집가자, 집가자. Don't do that, man. I hate that. Oh, stop it. If I'm gonna take a guess, I would say they're playing League of Legends, just judging by the sound effects from the game. Plus, if they were playing a first-person shooter, they would have needed to wear headphones, probably, and they weren't wearing headphones. <laughs> 깜빡이는 순간 이것만 딱 나오고 끝인 거 바라지도 않는 걸 엄청 열심히 하려 하는 아니 너가 딱그 화음 넣어서 어. 아니 저보다 방송을 더 열심히 하 <웃음> 그냥 자연스럽게 하면 되는데 <웃음> Both adorable 
imagine working at a karaoke place and getting to listen to his song, like just singing, just while you're working? So lucky. But you probably have to listen to a lot of people that can't sing as well, so it balances out. <laughs> Just casually hits these powerhouse notes. Let's go. Effortless. <laughs> His brother's a whole vibe. <laughs> it's so great.
하루 종일 양식이 한번 물어봤는데 고대 체험을 한번 해봤는데 생각보다 근처에 재밌는 것도 많고 재밌게 놀다 가는 것 같습니다. 또 오랜만에 재밌었어요. 방학 기간인데 쉬시고 난또 조만간 또 찾아오도록 하겠습니다. 안녕. <웃음> so cute. I think I'm on the wavy hair he sang agenda. Doesn't matter what color hair it is as long as it's wavy like that. It's so nice. Oh, that was so fun to watch. It's so good to see that he can actually just have fun with singing as well. Like, they, they just had so much fun with it and were having a laugh. It's so great. It's amazing, too, because his brother's not actually a bad singer at all. He can sing. And you think, like, yeah, that's just a normal singing voice. And then you hear him sing and it's like, holy shit. You know, like, it really highlights what an incredibly talented singer he is. That you hear someone who can actually sing fine. And then you hear him in comparison and it's like, wow, <laughs> absolutely amazing. Oh, bless. What a sweetie. It's nice to see him just chill out with family too, no? Yeah, me and my brother would never do anything like this. And I, I would say me and my brother are quite close, but we're not like spend time in person close, you know? Like we, we play online games a lot together, so we would probably just stay at home. And, and play a game online to catch up. It was really cool to see them hang out. Yeah, typical sibling bond. It was nice. It was super casual and cute. I know I said I wasn't going to watch a vlog for his song because we did do the Lee Mujin service and that was quite long as well. But I do kind of really like the idea of doing a vlog for everyone. So especially if I'd then gone on to do the end log things for every other member i would then feel like i'd kind of left he sang out of that and i do kind of want to see a, a, a vlog for everyone so that was really nice to watch i'm glad i did wow this is fast approaching the three hour mark so i have to pray to the high heavens that i can cut it down <laughs> and i absolutely must stop here it was so great to look into he sung i definitely love his voice I love his dancing, I love his personality, I love his laugh. He seems very humble and he seems to think about what he's going to say a lot before he says it, especially in like interviews and things like that. He puts a lot of thought into things. And I'm just kind of fascinated with his perfect pitch as well. Overall, he just seems quite talented. And then, yeah, my favourite genre of he sung is clumsy he sung <laughs> i think it's so cute definitely my favorite thing i watched today was the i forget what it's called now that that song that i listened to twice in a row i absolutely adore it and after i've stopped recording i think i'm just gonna listen to it again a couple more times i just think he sounds amazing the song is so beautiful when he sings it he looks amazing in that video like i just i'm kind of hypnotized honestly um so that was definitely my favorite thing to watch today all right let me know what you guys think down in the comments below i did actually get through a hefty chunk of the requests that came through which i'm quite proud of with jung one i didn't even get close because there were hundreds and hundreds of links but i did actually manage to get through most of he sung's content as always these videos are going to be spaced out so please don't expect that you're going to get it's jay isn't it <laughs> jay's the next oldest you're not gonna get his video right away after this one it takes time to record these videos not just these specific ones but like any of the unhypen ones that are like two hours long it takes me three three and a half hours to record them it then takes me days to edit them so it's not realistic to assume that there's going to be more than one in hypen video a week it is just not realistic for me to do that i work full time and then like a huge chunk of my weekends and my evenings are taken up with with doing this and i i do have other groups that i need to react to as well so please do be patient uh the j1 will be coming at some point next other than that that is it for now and i will see you guys in the next video bye